Tesla's Cybertruck has continued to captivate pickup truck fans despite not having been released yet. Even if there is a disagreement about the appeal of its shape, it cannot be debated the quality of the materials Tesla will use. Due to the stainless steel and exoskeleton design of the upcoming Tesla electric trucks, Tesla has again deviated from tradition in both material and structure. Let's begin our tour as we check the insane $2 billion facility. The unique body of the truck will be constructed from high-quality steel sourced by Tesla. We'll start with the new steel factory that will provide sheets for the long-anticipated electric pickup truck. The Cybertruck has attracted over 1 million pre-orders, unofficial sources say. It shows how much trust buyers have in the product's manufacturer when this happens to an unreleased product with a starting price of $39,900. What exactly are these people getting with the Cybertruck other than owning a truck that stands out in a sea of pickup trucks? With a single, dual or three-motor configuration, the battery-powered Cybertruck performs well. The highest trim level has a maximum range of 500 miles and will tow up to 14,000 pounds. In less than 2.9 seconds, the tri-motor vehicle will accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour, an insane record for pickup trucks. The Cybertruck's cabin will comfortably accommodate six people and have ample storage in its external and internal storage areas. This is something that workers and campers will appreciate, while Tesla's vehicles are not new. Cybertrucks are unique because of their bodies. In the automotive industry, Tesla uses both materials and manufacturing processes that are not common. Cybertrucks will be stainless steel, which Tesla describes as being ultra-hard, 30 times cold-rolled stainless steel. Cybertrucks benefit from standing the test of time by reserving their strength from dense damages and metal's number one enemy, corrosion. Musk himself demonstrated the benefit and power during the presentation of the Cybertruck. He had an assistant hit the door of a standard truck, likely the Ford F-150 on stage, causing the body to visibly dent which caused a question. Instead of making the body in several pieces and then welding or riveting everything together in a body-on-frame architecture, Tesla uses a stainless steel exoskeleton or outer shell for the Cybertruck. In other words, the Cybertruck has a unibody construction, which gives it a clear advantage as it makes it more durable. Apart from the steel, it has an excellent towing capacity, which is miles more than what other trucks in the same category can offer, as well as a total payload of 3,500 pounds, complemented by ultra-strong glass and polymer-layered composite window glass. Cybertrucks are claimed by Tesla to enhance the safety of the truck's occupants. Its material influenced both the vehicle's design and manufacturing process. As well as the material used in the Cybertruck, Musk explained that Tesla chose the planar design as a result of the cold-rolled 30x stainless steel's ability to break a stamping press. The implication is that Tesla would have to devise a new manufacturing method that does not apply standard automotive manufacturing techniques, whether or not it is said in layman's terms, or the material is indeed too hard to press. Musk shared that the body panels will be laser cut and standard stamping will not be used on the Cybertruck prototype. Besides its impact on aesthetics, this new body manufacturing method will allow Tesla to adjust, reduce costs and improve manufacturing time with its simple flat panel design. To protect the car and its doors, they will use armoured glass. It's bulletproof to a handgun because it's made of 300 series stainless steel. The cold rolled steel used in SpaceX's space program is not a new concept. Steel is also routinely used by construction companies. The application of this to a production vehicle is, however, novel. Steel that has been cold rolled has been modified to improve strength, tolerance and surface finish. The steel is rolled at room temperature instead of being heated up to high temperatures to produce flat stainless steel sheets. You might have guessed that cold rolling is more expensive than the traditional method of making steel sheets. Exactly how does Tesla maintain a steady supply of steel while keeping Cybertruck prices low? Here we are at the plant where the steel will come from. But before we do, it is worth noting that using steel for the body in this unibody fashion will save Tesla some money in the long run. Here's what's going to happen. Ward's Auto claims Tesla will not require stamping or blanking dies to shape its body panels due to the flat surface and straight lines. Since Tesla can laser cut the boards to size, other manufacturing processes such as hemming will not be required, as Tesla will only need to fold and crease the panels as required. Due to Tesla's unibody design, all of this is possible. Sandy Monroe, the legendary auto industry expert, estimates that Tesla will save $60 million by making its trucks this way. However, his estimate is based on a production run of 50,000 units per year when you multiply that by the millions of pre-orders reportedly placed. Tesla will be able to cut its production costs significantly. 
Tesla manufactures many of its parts in-house, but it also sources materials from suppliers. Steel Dynamics Incorporation is one of them. It is located in Texas, not too far from Tesla's Giga Texas. As the name implies, Steel Dynamics makes steel, supplying cold rolled steel for the truck's body. During the construction of the Giga Texas, Steel Dynamics also worked on its own factory, which is expected to cost $1.7 billion. It appears to be large enough for the production cost to remain within budget, although neither company has confirmed a contract between them. Still, it is clear from statements made by the metal manufacturer that they will supply steel to the electric pickup maker and that the cap only fits Tesla for now. The Steel Dynamics building is located 167 miles away from Giga Texas, where the Cybertruck will be constructed. The production goals of the two plants are also well aligned with Steel Dynamics, with the first production to begin in the fall of 2021, while the Cybertruck will enter production in 2022. Steel Dynamics plant is a massive facility in Sinton, Texas, and recent aerial photos show significant progress has been made. Several buildings have already been constructed, and some have even been equipped with manufacturing equipment. Contrast this with previous footage showing little progress at the site in December. Although progress has not been as rapid as Giga Texas, it has been sped up interestingly. According to a local official judge, Tesla will be redoing or refining the steel it gets from Steel Dynamics, meaning the electric vehicle maker is not ready to divulge the whole secret of the Cybertruck body to Steel Dynamics. Investing billions in the project also illustrates how far Tesla will go in developing the parts used in its product. Stainless steel alloys use blends of steel that are proprietary to Tesla and SpaceX. Tesla's decision to use cold rolled steel for the Cybertruck will undoubtedly benefit the town of Cincinnati. Since the manufacturing process of high quality steel requires excellent precision and quality control, Steel Dynamics will need to utilize all its steelmaking experience. Cybertrucks themselves will begin beta testing this year and be mass produced next year. The battery for Tesla's new electric truck has not yet been finalized. That may not be very pleasant to fans of the Cybertruck as revealed at the company's last earnings call. Fortunately, it will give suppliers like Steel Dynamics enough time to complete their production facilities, meaning the Cybertruck will be ready to go when it is prepared. Guess what? In a tweet, Musk said the pressurized edition of the Cybertruck will be the official truck of Mars. As always with Musk, it can be hard to discern between jokes and the actual plans, but I believe this tweet is taken seriously, at least at this point. So that's all the time we had today, folks. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel to view more of our amazing videos. Oh, and don't forget to hit the bell icon to remain updated about all our future videos. Till then, take care.